What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing good today. As you could see, I just poured some bleach in my bucket of rocks. The reason why is uh, mainly to kill these damn uh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes were starting to drop their little eggs, whatever, in my bucket. And um, I said, you know what, I'm just going to pour, pour some bleach in here. Uh, and it also help clean up the rock a little. This was even with the uh, daily water changes of the of the rocks. Um, I bought this Bukani dry rock from uh, MD, and uh, what I'm going to use it for is probably the uh, you know the 12 gallon long. But I wanted to clean up the rock, so because Bukani rock, some dirty rock, but um, I noticed the uh, mosquitoes in there, so that's why I poured some bleach. That's going to look real good. I'm going to rinse it out real good once it's done now moving along to other things my little chato reactor it kicked ass when i first set it up um it was doing really good but for whatever reason it just didn't grow too well i don't know if it's because the reactor was dirty but as you can see it doesn't really look too dirty to me um and the reason i found out is because uh, i was actually going to give some of this chato away but looking into it, I really don't have any uh, chato to give away. Just a bunch of slush, you know. But um, I'm going to hopefully be able to get some of whatever's left in there. And if there is any chato, grow it out. I'm just going to clean up this reactor and uh, go from there. I'm just going to use a regular LED bulb like I was doing before with the chato in the sump but this was a, a big fail it failed on me last time too but uh it failed again i don't i don't know what it was it's was probably that little cheap uh pump that i had uh the reactor itself i have other plans for it um and we'll just see what i i do from there the good thing is my chato actually not my chato reactor but my algae turf scrubber the one that floats, it's the Surf 2 from Santa Monica. Um, that works great. That works great. But as you can see, this was a big fail. That's about all the chato that grew. And uh, I don't know what the heck to tell you guys. Uh, except I'm going to get this, clean it out, scrape out whatever I can, throw it in a little refugium uh, with a regular daylight bulb and uh, clean out this uh, reactor. And I'm going to repurpose this reactor for something else um, that I have in mind. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go ahead and clean this stuff out with some of vinegar. This is a good old cheap stuff. And I'll fill this up with water and let it sit in the garage for a couple of days. Now I did check. I have been testing my ALK. Uh, my ALK sits around 7, uh, 7 DKH every day. Um, I've been dosing manually like I showed you how. Uh, my nitrite nitrates are actually, you know, they're kind of high, about 5, you know, 5, 10. But uh, not too bad considering I haven't done any water changes at all in my tank for a little while. But it's all on you on how you want to run your tank. Just do regular water changes. Don't dose. Or don't do any wire changes and dose. Um, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Right now I've just been uh, lazy. Really haven't been doing the water changes. Before I was on it, I was on the water changes every single week. My tank would get a water change. Now, um, I, the only water I put in my tank is in my ATO uh, reservoir, which is a 20-gallon tall. And I fill that thing up every two weeks. Um, fish. Fish wise are doing good. The lights haven't kicked on, really kicked on yet. Um, this is just regular natural sunlight. I like the way it looks in the tank when uh, you know the sun just hits the tank. My ras, he had a big old bump by his mouth, and uh, it's going away. I'm glad that my ras is okay. Um, I do plan on getting another 40 gallon tank, and then uh, using getting a different type of ras. Uh, a yellow chorus rash or something like that also other news in my about my 180 is i actually want to sell it i want to sell it locally 
you know, the tank itself is fairly new. And uh, with the tank, the stand, the sump, the ATO, well, the uh, ATO 20 gallon tall, I want to sell it. And we'll see how long it takes. If I don't sell it, you know, then I'll go ahead and break it down and uh, just store it in the garage. Um, what I've been doing here is I kind of made a light, different light rack. Um, it's been held up the T5 and it's held up pretty well for just being makeshift. But this stuff right here is actually from a Coleman pop-up shelter. One of the Coleman pop-up tents. I got some of the stuff. Started taking it apart because um, I had it for a while. It was just sitting outside. And uh, I'm going to repurpose it to hold up my T5 light. The current way that I have it, really not uh, happy with the way that I had it. I just did it so that I could run my T5 up there and have room to frag and look at the uh, tank and the, all the frags. But this way, I just measured it, drilled some holes, and drilled it into the, um, the wooden stand from there and then just held it up. It's looking pretty good. But the problem is with the wire, the way that I had it before, I think it was affecting my bulbs because it was pressing down on the plexiglass, the shield, and sometimes the bulbs wouldn't kick on. This way it looks a lot cleaner. Um, I did do another modification. I, I actually raised up the uh, T5 a little bit more so that way my uh, LED will can slide underneath it. But uh, as you can see, it's really simple. Just drill some holes, ran it across, drilled it into the stand, and voila, perfect. Uh, lots of room. And uh, you know what? I'm keeping it old school. Old school is cool. I wish I had a maybe a highlighter or something like that, but I got this fixture from uh, Tim, and uh, it works really good. Um, the actual bars running all the way down the stand, I actually cut those and uh, shortened them when I lifted up the uh, T5 a little bit. But, you know, T5 is doing good. I want to incorporate this LED so I can uh, still get that cool look when I want to look at my frags when the T5 shut off um, and go from there as you can see I got lots of frags I got even more frags I need to start putting up some frag packs and uh, I'm probably gonna do that on the forums I have had a few people contact me but they only wanted a couple frags so it's not really worth it because of the you know the shipping container the bagging and all that stuff so I will make some frag packs and just if you want some hit me up but I'm probably gonna post it on the forums um, everything's growing I do need to start cutting up some more stuff I'm gonna end this video here shortly and uh, just want to say happy Armed Forces Day it was on Saturday uh, and uh, it was pretty cool checked it out at Fort Bliss and here's a little clip hope you guys enjoy it and you guys take care have a good one guys
go, Aldo. Good. IPD. 